Dear friends, I am here to talk about the commodity research. Commodity research in India is relatively in a nascent stage, especially in the light of you know, globalization and the scale that has uh, emerged in recent years. We here in India do business on gut feeling basically. It's like you know, Khandani wisdom and all that because we believe that ancestral knowledge has given us the power. There's nothing wrong in it. I mean, it works and many times it has worked, but it works for a smaller scale of organization. If you want to achieve a much larger scale, a global scale, a proper methodical research is the way to go about it. And we are still grappling with the whole idea. The whole market has become very complex. The scale is large. The information technology has added to the complexities and the volatilities of the commodities. And the commodities that we use as a raw material in our business has become very volatile. And it's become very difficult when to buy or when to sell. So commodity research, especially in the agri-commodities, is what I'm going to talk about. And you know, there is a myth which says that agri-commodities are a no-brainer because when, you, when the harvest happens, the supply is at its peak and that's why the prices are at its bottom. That is when you buy and you sell when the prices are in the lean season and the prices are relatively high. If only it was this simple, you know, and primarily we are an agrarian society, we would have been much richer if it was so simple. So I think we need to understand the demand part, the supply part, and the complexity of inter-exchange between demand and supply. The supply part includes of the production and the opening stocks. I mean, we usually carry stocks from the previous season. So we need to estimate what are the stocks. Production is a very complex uh, way of estimating because we are a very huge country. And agriculture commodity, had the yields are very varied. And the, so from that angle, it's difficult to uh, estimate the supply. But we cannot help, but we have to do it. So the supply part consists of opening stocks, the production, and the imports that come into our country. The demand side consists of the domestic cons consumption and the export of it. So clearly, you can see that the minute you add export and import into it, it's other than the demand and supply, domestic demand and supply, there are a lot of other factors that come into picture. Like you have the foreign exchange, you have uh, competing commodities. Interestingly, I'll give you an example. I was trying to estimate the consumption of tour, you know, tour dal that we eat. And we realized that government's production number and imports in that year were actually smaller than how much we consumed. So clearly, what we believed we were eating as tour was not really tour, you know. I mean, there are so many dals that there's a lot of mixing that happens. So it becomes essential not only to understand that particular commodity, but the competing and the uh, supporting commodities are also the fact that you have to kind of understand to be able to know where the prices are going, at what price to buy, at what price, not to continue buying just because we believe that the commodity is very bullish. So I told you about the demand and the supply and the stock. Stock is something that you will never come to know, especially because where, what is, which grain is lying in which warehouse is very difficult to know. So it, it is most scientifically derived when you actually uh, reduce demand from the total supply and try and estimate the stocks. But it is not even stocks that is important, you know. I mean, the stock of, say, a th thousand, 100,000 tons of soya bean this year may not guide prices to how it had happened three years back. Because in these three years, the consumption has changed. So it is the stock to use ratio that is most important while analyzing any commodity, especially the agriculture commodities. So I believe that, you know, one who is wanting to uh, analyze commodity, agri-commodity especially, is the concept of stock to use ratio, which is most important. And it's the jigsaw puzzle, you know, you try and fit every bit of it and the whole large picture emerges. And I can assure you one thing that after almost 25 years of analyzing commodity, it is this method that makes it non-boring and keeps me going. Thank you very much.